Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over how to set up audio devices and a MIDI keyboard. The setup is usually pretty easy, but it can be somewhat confusing. I'm going to use several examples to help clarify what all the settings are for. Now first, we're going to start with audio devices. An audio device is the music creator term for hardware used for recording and playback. Examples of audio devices include the built-in sound in your computer, USB audio interfaces, and USB microphones. So for the first example, I'm going to set up Music Creator to use the built-in sound in my computer. And I'm going to load a demo song. So let's go to Help, Quick Start. And in the demo projects, I'm going to use this Mixing Tutorial Complete and click Open, and then OK to load the song. Now to set up your audio device, you need to open Preferences. The best way to do that is to use this convenient button right here. So in Preferences, I want to choose Audio, Devices, and the Setup options appear right here. First, we need to choose the driver mode. Music Creator is very flexible in that it will work with a wide variety of hardware, and so there's different options here. For built-in audio, I found that most of the time, MME is a good starting point, so I'm going to choose MME. If for some reason MME doesn't work out for you, then you can come back and change this to WDM. I'm going to stick with MME for right now. Then in the playback device, I want to choose the output connected to my headphones or the built-in speakers in my computer. Now from previous testing, I found that this option right here is my headphone jack. So I'm going to choose that. If for some reason you don't hear playback, you might need to test this and come back to this setting to make sure you've got the right output set. For the recording device, I have only one choice for real tech, and that's the input. So I'm going to choose that. Next, we have Launch Audio Profiler. When I click this, it will run a series of tests on the audio device. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it gives me a dialog saying it's going to perform the tests and would I like to continue. And I'll say yes. And here's the dialog as it runs through the tests. And it's all finished. Now the next setting is Mixing Latency. We can probably leave this at the default. However, when we test playback, if it doesn't sound clean and we get pops and clicks, we might want to come back to the screen and increase it because that will help give the computer more time to process data. We want the latency to be low for recording, but for normal playback and mixing, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit higher. So we'll leave it set at the initial default and test playback. So I'm going to click Apply and then Close. And now in our demo song, I'm going to press play in the transport and hear how this sounds. Now, my audio setup is finished. I can hear playback and everything is working. If you didn't hear anything on playback, go back to Preferences, the playback device, and try choosing a different output because maybe you're not set to the right output. Now, if the playback's not clean and you're hearing pops and clicks, try increasing the latency slider. Moving it to the right might help clear up that problem. So, now we've covered how to set up Music Creator to use the built-in sound in your computer. Next, we're going to configure a USB microphone. And for this example, I'm going to use the Samson Go mic. The Go mic is a high-quality, low-cost microphone that connects to your computer via USB. And it also has a convenient headphone jack so you can listen while you're recording. Now, this one doesn't require any special drivers to install. You just need to plug it in. Some USB microphones do require that you install drivers, so you'd need to check with the manufacturer or the manufacturer's website to see if there's some drivers. Now, I'd recommend that before you connect any audio devices to close Music Creator. So now I've got the Go mic plugged in. I'm going to launch Music Creator again. And I'm also going to launch the demo project and I'll use Mixing Tutorial Complete. This time I'm just going to rename the project. All right, to configure any audio device, we go to Preferences, under Audio, Devices. Now, for the Samson Go mic and for many USB microphones, we can just use the MME drivers. And once again, WDM is a good second choice if MME doesn't work out for you. Now, we need to change the playback device, and we can see that now we've got Samson Go mic appears in the playback list. And for recording devices, we'll see that Samson Go mic appears right here. Next, I'm going to launch the audio profiler. And it comes up with a message here. We can just say OK. And I want to continue. And then it will run through the audio profiler. And it will test the microphone for compatibility with Music Creator. Now the audio profiler is done. So I can click Close. 
Also, the latency setting I can leave set to the default setting, or I can increase it if my playback doesn't sound clean. I'm just going to set that here about in the middle, and I'll click Apply, and then Close. Now all I need to do is test playback by clicking on Play. Now, what you're listening to here is the headphone out of the Go mic. So if you're testing this with the Go mic, make sure you hook up some headphones to the microphone as you're listening back for playback. So that's how you configure the Samson Go mic in Music Creator. Now, next, we're going to configure a USB interface for use with Music Creator 6. Now, for this example, I'm going to use the Roland Duo Capture. Now, the Duo Capture is a great option for connecting a guitar or microphone to your computer. It has a headphone out and direct monitoring capabilities to make it easy to hear yourself as you're recording. Now to connect this device, we're going to need to install some drivers. So I'm going to exit out of Music Creator. I've already installed the drivers, so I'm going to connect the Duo Capture right now. Now I've reopened Music Creator. Next I'm going to open a demo project so I can test playback. I'll use the Mixing Tutorial Complete. Click Open, and I'll name the project Duo Capture. Now that the project's open, I can go into the Preferences by clicking in the upper right on Preferences. Now under Audio Devices, I'm going to select a driver mode. Now for most USB interfaces that require installing a driver, I would suggest using the ASIO drivers. If those don't work, you can also try the WDM drivers, but ASIO would be my first choice. Now this driver mode works a little differently than for the MME mode, where we have an ASIO panel instead, so I'll click this and then a panel will come up that will allow you to change the buffer settings and things like that. There's no profiler. And you can adjust this slider to set the latency with a recommended setting on this particular unit is around 6. So I will leave that set to the default right here. I'll go back to my song, close, go back to the song, and now I'll play back. and everything is working just fine. Make sure that you connect headphones or speakers to the Duo Capture to hear playback, and also there is an output volume level right on the top of the device on the right. Make sure that you've got that turned up so you can hear playback as well. Now, if the playback doesn't sound clean, go back into Preferences, into the ASIO panel, and take a look at the buffer or the latency settings in here. This will vary depending on the manufacturer, but you can increase this setting if you're hitting pops and clicks. Click Apply and then go back and test playback again. So that completes the setup for the Roland Duo Capture, and this is similar to the setup for many audio interfaces. Now another option for a USB interface is the Roland Tri-Capture. The setup is exactly the same as for the Duo Capture. The Tri-Capture allows you to connect high-quality condenser mics, as well as record guitar and vocal at the same time. I really like this interface. I'm going to show you the setup, even though it's pretty much a review of the Duo Capture. So I've already created a project for it. We'll go into Preferences. We'll check under Devices. Make sure the driver mode is set to ASIO. And then we've got the Tri-Capture set as the output and Tri-Capture set to the input. The ASIO panel is available to adjust the latency. If you want cleaner playback or you're getting crackling, turn this up. If you want better recording performance, you can turn this down. But let's just click OK on this go back to our project and playback and see how it sounds. All right, so everything is working just fine. Now, if you're not hearing audio from the Tri-Capture, make sure you've got speakers hooked up to the left and right output or connect headphones and turn up the headphone knob so you can hear playback. Next, I'm going to go over how to configure a MIDI device. And for this example, I'm going to use the Roland A500 Pro MIDI keyboard controller. The A500 Pro is a 49 key keyboard and it's great for desktop music production. And it connects to your computer via USB. First, you'll need to install the drivers. To do that, close Music Creator, download the latest drivers from the manufacturer's website, install those, then connect the keyboard. When that's all done, then launch Music Creator, and I'll show you how to do the configuration from there. Go to Help, 
quick start, and we're going to create a new project for this. So I'll just click Create New Project. I'm just going to call the project A500 Pro. Now that the project's open, I just go to the Preferences, and under MIDI, click Devices, and you'll see A Pro, MIDI in A Pro 1, 2. If you're using a different keyboard, you'll see ones that match the name of the keyboard. We want to just turn on all of these inputs for the associated device. Same thing for the outputs. We want to turn these on and then click Apply and Close. And now we've configured the MIDI keyboard so that we can use it for recording and working with virtual instruments. We're going to cover that in a separate video. But for now, that's all you need to do to set up your MIDI keyboard. So now you should have a much better understanding about how to configure audio devices and MIDI devices for use with Music Creator 6. You may want to consult the Music Creator help links and the Cakewalk website for more information on this. And in addition, the manufacturer's websites can be very helpful in getting these kinds of devices configured and working with your computer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.